Doctor, you stand on one leg better than me. <laughs> and you're only a week old. Ooh, here's your mom. Martin, check it out. It's feeding time. Yeah, she makes a milky liquid in her esophagus and feeds it to her chick. Whoa, that's so cool. Excuse me, Martin, coming through. Excuse us. Uh, excuse us. Sorry to bother you. Don't mean to ruffle any feathers. Guys, we did it. Flamingo Creature Power Disc, ready for action! Yes! All right! Is it going to be pink? Of course! Woohoo! Yes! Me, Me first! <gasps> it's mine! Oh, no, it's mine! Uh, got it! <laughs> okay, you first. Thanks, bro. Insert Flamingo Power Disc. Touch Flamingo. And activate Flamingo Power! It's a horrible creature power suit malfunction. What happened to the pink? We've got a creature mystery here, team. The mystery of the flamingo's pink. Hey, flamingo guys, mind if I join you? Oh, come on, guys. Oh, okay, so I'm not pink, but everything else is flamingo-y. I got the neck and legs. Ooh, and check this out. Standing on one leg has never been easier. That's because flamingos actually have a locking mechanism in their leg. Check this out! With this neck, I can hang my head all the way down to the water. Whoa, things look pretty different from down here. And the world is upside down. Well, put that upside down thing to use, bro. The flamingos are doing their classic upside down feeding. They swing their heads back and forth through the water as they walk slowly along. This flamingo beak is even built for upside down feeding. It's smaller on the top and bigger on the bottom. The opposite of many bird beaks. Except when upside down, then everything's right side up. Yeah, I think I've got the move down. But uh, what exactly am I after? Not sure. Flamingos are filter feeders, so it's something small. But we need to get a closer look. Deploy miniaturizer. Sure you want to go that mini? Got to! To find out what's in here. 